Good morning, good morning, good morning, garden family. It is a beautiful fall morning here in Zone 8A, Georgia. Things are doing what they're doing. I enjoy coming out here this time of the morning, just checking on the garden. I still have many, many updates that I have to do, but they are small things that I have to contend with. Nothing too heavy. Still have some little bugs messing with my green beans. I have my butter peas there. They are doing very well. I planted brassicas here. And I did have to put down a shade cloth because sometimes during the day, excuse me, sometimes during the day, the temperature gets a little high. And I also want to shield against any leftover bugs. Here I have my onions. I have Texas Super Sweet planted on this side. And then I have the candy onion planted on this side. I watched Miss Linda one year and she planted some Clancy potatoes. So I have those going in there. My hibiscus flower is still pumping out beautiful blooms as well as seeds. My basil has gone to seed and it's flowering, but that's fine. Here, I did plant some more brassicas and covered it up. My butter peas and my French green beans are doing very well here, intermingled with some marigolds. And of course, sweet potatoes that you guys watched me pull up. You guys watched me pull up my North Georgia candy roaster and looky looky. They decided that they weren't finished yet, so I'm just gonna let them go until our first frost. Here is a volunteer potato. Again, I'm gonna let it go until the first frost because that's when I'm going to pull everything up here because I don't need this entire space, so it's okay to let this go until the first frost. My sage is doing very well. I pulled some and actually froze it instead of dehydrated it. And it smells awesome, awesome, awesome. And it is still beautifully green. I still have peppers doing very, very well. I actually came through and I stripped the plants of all the peppers the other day and I gave all of those away um, you guys know that I jarred up peppers my fig trees are doing pretty well over here if you can see the loofah gourds are going crazy on my fence. So next year for sure, I know that this is a perfect place to plant them. And I have this 100 gallon grow bag here. I actually planted the seed in there. And then because it is so close to the fence, the loofah gourd decided to grow along the fence and that is okay because it's not in the way of anything so I really like that the chickens are enjoying their makeshift little roost that I put up for them the Zulu peppers are doing amazingly well still and again I did pull some of those and gave them away but I'm going to pull those today because those plants are actually very very quick to get soft I have a cherry tomato plant here and it's still trying to flower and because it's not in the way of anything I'm gonna let it continue on so much beauty in a day 
look at the leaf miner. This is what leaf miner damage looks like. Let me just take that leaf off. So every day I come through and I spray these plants strictly because of the aphids that get on the stem. But they are climbing, if you can see here. And again, I'm going to allow those to go until I first frost. Sometime today after church, I'm going to come through and I'm going to mix up some peat moss, cocoa core, and a little potting soil or that chicken compost there. And I'm going to fill up my green stalks because my strawberries should be coming in very soon and I'm going to plant them there. I'm actually going to pull up these alpine strawberries gt i cannot wait for you to get yours started because if you remember i started one plant in the arrow garden and this thing actually at one point was completely full it was completely full this is a 100 gallon grow bag and i pulled some out but i'm actually going to take those as well and they are going to go into the green stalk and then these strawberries that I have here in these pots, I'm going to give those to my sister so that she can have strawberries next year. Because I know that those are guaranteed because they've been producing for at least a year now. This is my oldest girl. This is Lorraine. I don't know what's really going on with her. She started out pretty good laying eggs, at least one egg a day while I was on vacation. But since I've been back, she literally stopped laying altogether. So I have to figure out what's going on there. Any of my chicken parents, let me know. And I don't know if maybe it's because my little squirt there is stressing her out. But um, let me know if you guys know what is going on and why she all of a sudden stopped laying. And so these are small, but they are condensed flavor. They are really good. They're not spicy. They are just like your... It's a really beautiful sweet pepper. I love, love, love the color. I think they are absolutely gorgeous. The ones that grow on this side of the plant, on this area, always get sun scold. But the ones that grow on this side turn out nice and gorgeous. my pepper plants are still flowering i wish i was able to get more pimento peppers this year but i didn't i only was able to get a few but again we still have time in the growing season our first frost is not until november so I'm not going to stress about it because again, I do not need the space for anything. I already have brassicas there and I have some over there and my onions have not sprouted yet. So whenever the first frost hits or right before our first frost, I'm actually probably the end of October, I'm going to pull all the pepper plants and I am going to, there's actually some carrots in there too. I'm actually going to put my onions and my garlic in this bed. So I'm gonna fill this entire bed up with onions and then one of the beds over there is going to be, excuse me, over on this side, is going to be filled with garlic. And the reason why I like to plant them separately 
uh, away from anything else is because onions and garlic do not need as much water as some of your other plants so I do not want to overwater them so again my onions will go here in October once I clear out all the peppers because I'll even though the plants are healthy I will have all the peppers that I need for at least a year because I have 12 cans jarred right now and if I could get at least three or four more then that will suffice for an entire year I am going to get rid of this 100 gallon grow bag I'm thinking of getting rid of this one and maybe planting my lufa gourd into the ground next year but we will see because this one is not necessarily in the way but this one is I like to have ample walking space and when you are harvesting your vegetables even if you're coming out just to harvest vegetables for dinner you don't want to be tripping over pots and things like that i even come out and i clean off my areas that i walk on so i'm going to come through later this week and put down some more fabric because it has become a tripping hazard in one of the areas i'll show you over here So over here, because this has gotten torn up, you know, you can trip over it when you're walking. So I'm going to come through uh -oh, and clean that up. I also have candy onions growing in this container. And then in between my brassicas in this bed, I did a row of onion seeds. So we'll see how those turn out. My roses are doing really gorgeous. I have, as you can see here and a few other places, I pulled some of the petals to dry because of course I use them for tea. My okra has gotten better. I pulled all the big stalks off. Yesterday I came through and clipped about three okra off of the plant. I'll come through this afternoon and get this one. And probably in the next day or two. Uh, let me see if you guys can see it. But this one. Can't get the camera to focus on this one she'll be ready and these two will be ready my roses on this side of the yard are doing really really well i just love how that looks that is super super gorgeous the zinnias are still producing back here i clip these from time to time and make a flower arrangement in the house look at that red one there yuck if you remember i had the watermelons over here i did pull the watermelon the other day and it was 11 pounds i'm gonna reweigh it but i have it in the kitchen and actually guys it's pretty cool that it was actually 11 pounds because it is considered a petite yellow watermelon i went back through because i did not label out here but i went back through and saw that it was supposed to be a petite yellow watermelon and so 11 pounds is pretty cool for a petite watermelon my butterfly pea is doing very, very well. I'm gonna come through today and pick those flowers. I had a really big request at the market on Saturday for the butterfly pea tea. I did bring some hibiscus or so Jamaican sorrel tea, but, um, and people did purchase that. But I had two ladies to come through and it just really surprised me because usually I have to explain what 
the butterfly pea is and you know i tell people to do their own research when it comes to the benefits of everything but I was just so shocked that I didn't have to explain to them. They knew exactly when they saw it on my packaging what the butterfly pea was. And one lady said that um, she had had it when she was out of the country. And she was surprised to see that someone here was actually growing it. And I was like, oh, it's a staple in my garden. But I assured her that, of course, I would have it at the next market, which is coming up on this Saturday so I have some already dried in the house I just have to make up the tea sachets I just love to see this apple tree in bloom the only thing that gets me is I usually don't get any apples off of it I said that I was gonna give it one more year before I completely dug them up and relocated them either to my mom's property or just offered them to someone and this is my pear tree it's so funny because uh remember i told you guys i planted the pencil beans that i got from the dollar tree here and they just um you see all the beautiful purple flowers <laughs> they are absolutely doing their Thing. and it is nothing like planting a sweet pea because look how much this produces and the beans get so long and there are quite a few pinto beans inside of one stock guys stop that So these flowers, yeah, I don't know where they came from, but they are pretty. I'm not going to let them grow all the way across my fence because I know it's kind of a weed coming from my next door neighbor's yard, but as of right now, they're a thing of beauty. But guys, I just wanted to bring you guys along so that you could see some of the things that I have growing on and going on at the Thompson Homestead. Things are going very, very well. I pray that things are going very well wherever you are. I pray that you are coming into this fall and things are just absolutely gorgeous for you. I pray that you, your gardens are doing lovely. That life is treating you well. And things are beautiful. As always guys, remember to get up, get out and grow something and have faith in our food. We'll see you the next time.